Hey my honey do up, so welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a treatment on my hair. I haven't done a deep conditioner in like two months. I haven't done a protein treatment in I don't know how long. And I just wanted to spend some time tonight just to do that. I'm actually skipping the gym in the morning because of my hair. So it's, this is dedication. Actually, I worked today and I was looking up things like for my hair in particular. I have type four hair and I have low porosity hair. I remember long ago when trying to figure out what products I should use for my hair, I came across hair porosity and how that plays a significant role in the products you use for your hair. Low porosity just basically means it's hard for your hair to retain moisture whereas if you have high porosity it's easy for you to retain moisture or um, to your hair to absorb moisture but it's hard for it to keep that moisture if I'm not mistaken I will put it somewhere on the screen so I have low porosity hair and if you want to know what your porosity is you just take a piece of clean hair. Um, so if you just got out the shower and you washed your hair, you can take a piece of hair and you would drop it in a cup of water. If the hair sits on top or if it doesn't really submerge into the water, then you have low porosity hair. If your hair uh, strand automatically sinks to the bottom, then you have high porosity hair. And if it kind of like floats in the middle, I believe that's like normal porosity. If you have normal porosity hair, I don't think you have an issue. It would be hard for you to have good, healthy, flourishing hair. But when you have have, and not saying that if you have low or high porosity hair, your hair won't grow. It's just, it just makes it a little bit more difficult to like maintain the moisture in your hair, which is very important in order for your hair to grow, to retain the length. Like your hair is going to be growing, but the oldest parts of your hair are your ends. And if your ends are split or if they're always breakage, then your hair is not like, you're not retaining length. It's growing, but you're not retaining length. Does that make sense? I'm not here to school anybody, <laughs> even though it sounds that way. I'm just giving you, um, my not necessarily my backstory but just like an explanation if you come across this video and you know what the heck i'm talking about what i'm going to do tonight basically i'm going to start with a protein treatment which is not really recommended if you have low porosity hair but just because i haven't had any kind of protein treatment in a very long time i was doing my hair and i feel like maybe i just need to do a good deep conditioner but i just really want to do a protein treatment at least with the product that i use because anytime i've used this product in the past it has worked magic on my hair i feel like my hair is revived it's like brought back to life sorry my phone lit up so i thought my recording stopped but like i was saying so i'm going to do a protein treatment and i will be using the um aztec healing clay you can find this at i believe target you can really find this at marshall's and tj maxx i got this at tj maxx for ten dollars so anytime i see these i used to buy like two at a time but i don't really do that many protein treatments this will last me quite a bit so i just use this and i also will use apple cider vinegar um you can use water but if you really want that good penetration not penetration but if you really want some good clarification in your hair i would recommend using apple cider vinegar i used to get freaked out by it because when you mix the two together it like gets all bubbly and sunny but that's okay don't freak out <laughs> don't be like me so i'm just going to put equal parts of each into the bowl you want to make sure you use a plastic bowl and plastic silverware or um a mixer you don't want to use any metal you want to make sure you remove all your metal jewelry you don't want to have any metal at all so i'm just going to put equal parts of the asset in the healing clay into the bowl as well as apple cider vinegar and i am going to do this on dry like slightly damp slightly damp um i'm not going to clean my hair because this is a very clarifying um products so because i shampooed my hair just three days ago i don't feel like my hair has a lot of buildup i've only applied i've only done my hair once i set it into a stout and that was three days ago my hair is not like filthy if anything it's probably dirty around my edges because of the edge control i use but for the most part my hair is not dirty so i don't feel the need to shampoo my hair first you also can run to the risk of like over clarifying your hair and it can just strip your hair even more that's not what i'm really trying to do so I'm just going to go ahead and use the Aztec Indian Healing Clay. After I am done, I'm going to let that sit in my hair for roughly 15 to 20 minutes, no more than 20 minutes. You don't need to let it sit in your hair for a very long time. I am then going to deep condition and I use the Miel Organic Rosemary um, Deep Conditioner, the mask. This has worked wonders on my hair. Anytime I'm gonna do a silk press, I know people don't recommend you sleep with a deep conditioner, but when I sleep with this in my hair the night before, I let it sit in my hair overnight and then I I blow dry in the morning when i tell you blow drying is a 
breathe. When I see this in overnight, I'll breathe. Anyways, I'm going to put this in my hair and then I'm going to sit under my hooded dryer for about 20 minutes. After I rinse that out, I will then come back and then we can continue on. So first protein treatment, rinse out, deep conditioner, rinse out. Then we're going to style my hair and set it for the night. And then I'm going to come back in the morning and do my hair or undo my twist, break up, whatever I plan to do. I think I'm going to do a braid and curl because I haven't had a braid and curl in a while. And my hair has grown quite a bit since I big chopped. So I kind of want to see what it looks like. Um, I really just, my go-to style is a three strand twist out. So yeah. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to remove my jewelry. I'm going to take my microphone off and then I'm going to just go ahead and get started on the um, Acid Candy and Healy Clay. It's going to be a voiceover just because I don't want to get anything on my microphone. I don't want to drop anything. So I'll do a voiceover of a step by step of what I'm doing. So let's get right into it. All right, guys, so getting started, I'm just going to start with my protein treatment. As I said, I'm using the Indian healing clay as well as the apple cider vinegar. And I'm just going to mix the two and, until the consistency It's not extremely runny, but not too like chunky thick. I want just a nice good consistency where it's easy and manageable to work through my hair. I, I've read conflicting reviews or, you know, where people, forums, where people have said that to do this on dry hair and some say to do it on damp hair. Me personally, I'm going to do it on damp hair because when you have coarse hair, coily hair, working anything on dry hair is, I feel it's just more prone to breakage depending on what product you're using. And because I'm using this thick clay, I'm like, I didn't want to put that on just dry hair because my, I just did not want to hear my hair snapping in the back. I'm not even going to hold you. So I just work this all the way from, you know, as close to my root as possible, all the way down to my shaft. My fingers got stuck because I started running my fingers through like a crazy person. So be very careful because it does dry very quickly. And the last thing you want to do is manipulate your hair with this product on your hair. So I'm just going to work this through all four sections. Um, I don't really focus it entirely on my scalp. I kind of just try to get it as close to my root as possible. And then I'm going to let this sit on my hair for about like a good 15 to 20 minutes. You really don't want to leave this in your hair too long. I feel like tops 15 or 20 minutes, but the most is like we really only need 15 minutes. You don't even need to do 20. I just got lost <laughs> in the sauce. The lighting isn't that great right now, and I'm just gonna make a mess by keeping my shower open to show you guys the process. So I'm just going to rinse my hair out and just put a deep conditioner in my hair, and then I'll get you guys when I get out. Sorry. So after I got out the shower, um, I just went ahead and applied that uh, deep conditioner and I sat under the hooded dryer for I think 15 minutes. I usually sit under the uh, dryer for 30 minutes, but it was getting later in the evening and I kind of want to just get from up under the dryer. I kind of wanted to just end my day, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, I just sit under the dryer for about a good 20 minutes and I rinse my hair out with like lukewarm water. Um, depending on your porosity will determine like the temperature of water you use but because my hair is low porosity i tend to rinse and shampoo on warm water so this is how my hair is looking after i get out um rinse the deep conditioner out and i'm going to go right into styling i'm using my jamaican black castor oil i swear by that product it's the um, jamaican black castor oil as i am water i have not tried the other waters i think that they came out with some others but i have not tried them out let me know if you guys have i also use my camille rose honey hydrate it's my favorite um, leave-in conditioner because the consistency is more on the liquidy side and when you rub it in your hands it does get very very warm so I just feel like that's so good for my um, porosity of my hair and I'm also using the um, Eden Body Works Coconut Shea Curling Cream I used to use this all the time my, when I was transitioning like 10 years ago over 10 years ago I used to use that all the time and I love that product. I filled it in with my Melanin Hair Care Multi-Use Oil. I'm doing a braid out. I, I was gonna do a braiding curl, 
where I braid my hair and then maybe like two inches from the bottom, I was gonna put a perm rod, but I did not have enough perm rods on me at the time. So I went ahead and just did a good old braid out. Now, mind you guys, this video was shot in June. Yes, June, but I am barely getting around to like editing it. Um, so I, I don't know what my hair looks like now, but I have some cornrows in my hair right now and I cannot wait to take them out because I'm kind of eager to do my hair right now. Um, more so just to get my hair back into some kind of um, healthy state because right now it is, it's not doing so well <laughs> and it's only because the protective styles are just really tearing my hair up so I have to really chill on them so that's why I'm like having such a huge emphasis on you know knowing what protective styles are best for you and I just don't think wearing um, twists and braids for a long period of time will help at least in my experience like my edges are completely broken off because of all the edge control I use and stuff like that so um, I would just say you know learn from my mistakes you know I had I didn't think that would happen but it makes sense of why it did so Anywho, now I'm going to go back to bed and then I'm waking up the next morning and I'm using the melanin hair care to go ahead and remove my braids. Nothing new here, you know, uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. As I take my uh, braids down, I am going to be using my blow dryer to go ahead and stretch the roots. You guys know I love to do this. This is completely optional. But yeah, I went ahead and just stretched my roots so my hair can be more fluffy and all that good stuff. So this is how my hair is looking once it's all done. I have to run out the house to go to work. So when I come back on the camera, it's gonna be the end of the day. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna have a little bit more to say about my hair and you know the plans I have for my hair moving forward. If you guys care to stick around for that. But if not, um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and come back and check me out. I would love to see you back and I will see y'all later. Hey you guys, so, oh my gosh, I um, had to rush out this morning so I didn't even film a, um, excuse me, I didn't come back to like give you guys a update or anything like that, but this is the finished results of my braid out. So I left this morning, I'm home now, it's eight o'clock at night, so it's the same day. My hair looks really good. When I was doing my hair last night, it felt like so extremely moisturized. I'm still gonna be, like doing a little bit more research to find out the best hair care routine for me because I kind of don't want to have a very complex routine. I want to have it, you know, very simple, you know, straight to the point, you know, because when I think about it, you know, growing up, there weren't so many rules in regards to, you know, how to grow your hair. You know, your mom took care of your hair. I'm sure that everyone wasn't following the certain method. I think after, you know, the natural hair movement made its debut on social media in the 2010s, it kind of took off with this whole like natural community and natural hair in AZI, because that's kind of like not the best term to use, but it was just a very heavily used term. And coming from someone who had a previous uh, channel where it primarily focused on natural hair, I used to receive all kinds of comments in regards to my hair, or if I didn't do something a certain way, then someone would be criticizing me for it. So I'm kind of going off on a rant right now, but I I really don't care, you know, about who may be upset or who may feel away or think I'm doing something incorrectly. If I'm obviously doing something incorrectly, that's probably not 
not going to benefit my natural hair or my um, hair growth and overall, then yeah, I'm totally open to criticism. I think we should be far past the point where people are being criticized on the internet for their natural hair. I will say last night when I was doing my hair, when I was just working the product in my hair, it just felt extremely moisturized. Um, now I did put the leave-in conditioner and I sprayed my hair with the Jamaican black castle oil water outside of the water, but that's because I'm filming this. I usually apply that in the shower, which I explained in the voiceover, but um, it still turned out really, really great. I just found that before in the past when I would use like a leave-in conditioner outside of the shower, like kind of like on damp hair and then use my styler, it just felt like it wasn't penetrating my hair shaft well. And when I would use my leave-in conditioner and whatever curly cream I'm using, it would kind of create this crummy residue. So I've always found that, you know, at least since be finding out with low porosity, um, it was always been recommended to apply your products, you know, in warmer atmosphere. So apply it in a hot shower, you know, so I just always found that applying those types of products in my hair in the shower just helped me overall with um, retaining some moisture. I will say as of right now, I'm happy with the length of my hair or how much um, length I retain. I just feel like there's just some TLC that I need to attend to when it comes to my hair right now. I noticed last night when I was um, doing my hair, like this whole area right here, it's like broken off. So as you can see, it's very, very short. And this is the area that I touch up when I use or when I put in my twist. So that's another thing that I noticed when I was removing my twist is that I had like this whole section was like broken off really bad. Like it's very uneven in the front of my hair right here. You can clearly see this whole part is really, really short. So I'm like, okay, maybe the twists are not doing well or they're not for me. But I just think that me applying product over that area just wasn't helping because I noticed that when I was removing my twist from my hair, when I would get down to the nitty gritty part, I would have so much of my own hair within the twist. Like it would just break off so bad. So as bad as I really want to put the twist back in my hair just so I cannot have to deal with it, I know that it's just causing too much stress for my hair. So that's kind of why I feel like I have to just leave my hair out and just like let it do its thing. Unless I do like um like wig because I'm just putting my hair on cornrows and it's like not being touched or anything like that. But this is how my hair is looking. I think it's pretty good. It looks good. It's very nice, fluffy, soft. Oh my battery sign I'll be back <laughs> yes yeah, so that is the video on me just applying some type of treatment to my hair um let me know in the comment section below is there anything that you feel would help with my hair if you have low porosity hair please let me know your tips I've been researching so I'm trying to just narrow it down to figure out like what can I do for my hair especially with it being very dry out here I really wish no I don't I don't want to live in humidity I hate humidity but I know that having some type of moisture in the air would really benefit my hair but um, with it being so dry I feel like I have to overcompensate <laughs> because there's no moisture out here so that's really all I think my hair looks really really great um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do next I do want to try a flexi rod set I've never in all the years that I've been natural I've been natural since 2013 2014 I've been natural I've cut my hair three times but I've been natural I've never ever tried a flexi rod set I tried a perm rod set but a flexi rod set I feel like would give much different results and with the flexi rod i would definitely use the do mousse or maybe the meal organics mousse or design essentials someone's mousse but i definitely want to try a flexi rod set um let me know how you guys feel about that if you have any suggestions on any natural hair videos uh you want to see let me know and yeah that's all that i have for you guys today i really hope you guys enjoy and yeah it is juneteenth tomorrow and i'm working and i'm not happy about it because i'm like you finally got it past the federal holiday a few years ago and you know how it is when you're working in healthcare there's no holidays in healthcare so I'm kind of sad about that but it is what it is we're not even here for that but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you guys did be sure to give me a big thumbs up I would love if you guys could support me by liking commenting sharing subscribing if you're not subscribed and I look forward to seeing you on my next one I miss you guys so so much and you guys take care so until then peace two fingers Wondering what's on your mind If you like the simple type I ain't stupid, dumb, or blind Won't sleep, be a bit of a last Heard you met her in the club Trying to tell me you were drunk I can still smell perfume